Hey there folks, J-Bird here with another lawn video. Uh, today I'm going to do something different with my new steel KM91R. I'm going to do some bushwhacking. Uh, first time I've ever done that and I'm anxious to get ready. But first I uh, want to give you a follow up. A week ago I uh, tried to take this cursed piece of land and, and we did a whole three part series uh, on a lawn salad reno. I just think this piece of land is cursed. It has not germinated. Uh, I'll take it back. There's a strip around the edge that's germinated, but that's it. So, not sure what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I need to do, do a soil sample. I think that's my next step. So you can see here, there's some germination and some seedlings have started. A little bit of grass on the edge. A bunch of leaves has fallen. This is the best place because right here I see a lot of new grass, but that's very far and few between. Basically nothing in the middle. So I'm gonna count this as a fail for now. I'm just gonna have to do a soil sample test and see what the heck is going on with the soil. All right, so today I'm gonna be doing a little bushwhacking. That's the main part of this video. You can see this is full of brush, so you might call it brush whacking or brush cutting. I have my new Steel 91 KM91R and I have this brush cutting attachment I'm going to be trying for the first time. As you can see, it's never been used before. I also have my weed whacker attachment with the guard on. I'm not sure I'll keep this for long, but for now I'm going to keep it on. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this down. If you can tell, there's like a swing back there. Maybe you can see it, maybe not. But uh, when we first bought this property, uh, sat in that swing and said, oh, this is nice. And, uh, but as you can tell, we have not used it any time lately. So I'll give you a closer look, a uh, better picture of all the brush involved here. So this is my yard. The backyard and there's woods and a swampy area over here and then you get to the swing and all of this brush it is thick you can see i got some limbs hanging down quite thick through here so you might call this the before picture <laughs> yikes It leads up to the lake. There's the lake, my toys. Yeah, so sort of a mess here. Let's get to it. You wanna play some horseshoes? So I am so far super impressed with this machine and the blade and how it works. It felt like a hot knife through butter to be honest with you. It's, uh, it does take a little skill. I'm, I'm not skilled at this, but I think you know getting it to be right at the, the level of the ground without bumping it, there's some skill there. I'll have to study up on that. One thing I, I did was I found these little saplings, they're like inch, two inches thick. So I'm gonna see if it'll cut something that thick. Um, 
interesting. I also have this other one over here. It's more like three inches thick. I'm not so sure, but uh, let's give it a try. That thicker one took a little work, but uh, you know what? That is pretty darn cool. I think I'm getting my money's worth out of this uh, steel KM91R. So, that's the ticket, folks, right there. Tell you what, that brush cutter is something else. I really like it. Super powerful, clean, makes a great cut. I thought I was gonna have to use the weed whacker, but I just went with the brush cutter. That's all I needed. Use the limb saw, but uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I guess I could mow it with the mower. I might do that, but uh, for now, I think I'm just gonna take it easy, to be honest with you.